And with us right now, we've got Tina Anderson. Tina, you are the uh, co-founder and CEO of Just Thrive health.com and uh you've been in business for quite some time you've helped a lot of good people yes we have we've been in business for about six years and uh -huh. been helping people every day change their lives it's been amazing so you weren't always like uh as a teenager you weren't uh extolling the virtues of probiotics were you <laughs> you are absolutely right josh i was not uh, i always had this dream of being an attorney i wanted to be an attorney and i wanted to you know change the world in that way. And so I did become an attorney, but it yeah. wasn't easy to change the world as I am now. So that's good. And you were, uh, you, do you mind sharing what you were doing professionally? So you had your uh, doctor of law from John Marshall Law School. Uh, and then what did you end up uh, doing? Um, I was in litigation. Um, I was doing um, civil defense litigation. So I was on the defense side and um, practicing, you know, arguing motions, going to trial, although my, my kind of expertise was settling cases. I had a knack for bringing two sides together. It's just kind of who I've always been like that, even as a kid. Mm -hmm. fight. Um, and then I went into, um, to have a more of a work-life balance, I went into corporate law. So I was working for a family pharmaceutical business where I was able to have a great work-life balance and uh, spend more time with my kids and be home to raise my kids while I was still practicing law and um, doing that kind of stuff, um, you know, doing all the corporate stuff. So we had a separate conversation that talked all about um, some of the product lines that, that you're an advocate for, and, and I am as well. Um, but what brought you to start Just Thrive Probiotic? And this was back at the beginning of 2013. Right, right, exactly. Um, well, really, it was when we started in the pharmaceutical business, when I started in the pharmaceutical business, I was very into like the idea of helping people. I'm like, this is so great that I get to use my professional knowledge to be helping people and to be making people, you know, find help. But what we found out at, after being in the pharmaceutical industry is just, there were so many abuses going on. You know, mm. we know that there's a place for pharmaceuticals for acute situations and, you know, emergency room medicine type of situations, but not for treating chronic conditions. Chronic conditions, we need to get to the root cause of the problem. And we saw the overprescribing of medications. And it really wasn't the way we lived. Our, my husband and I lived our lives with our children. Um, we saw, you know, our kids, you know, they got a fever. We would let them ride out their fever a little bit because we know that's the body's natural mechanism to fight an infection. Um, of course, we would never do it to the point where it would cause them any harm, but we really avoided antibiotics as much as possible. And we just, we lived a more natural lifestyle. Mm -hmm. and so we just thought, you know, what are, we are not doing our life's work anymore. And so we um, looked into, we wanted to get into natural health and wellness and we, through a, I, I always say through a lot of prayer, affirmation, and right. a lot of at the right place at the right time, we were able to actually um, purchase the exclusive rights to these very, very exclusive pharmaceutical, I mean, um, bacterial strains, probiotic strains from London University, one of the top leading um, researchers on gut health and uh, probiotics um, in the world. And from there, Just Thrive Probiotic was born. So it's, it's huh. the most gratifying journey I've ever been on, bar none, as far as career. Um, you know, people will always say, how did you walk away from your, you know, career your, as an attorney? Right. I, I don't, I don't think of walking away from anything. I mean, I feel like I have, I mean, everything that I earned as an attorney, I could apply to what I'm doing now, um, negotiation, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so I just, I don't feel like I walked away from anything. I feel like my life has been only further enhanced from doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so what were the first, so you, you come across this product line, you're like, the world needs this. What do you do then? Yeah. Um, I really had no idea what I was doing. To be <laughs> no they idea. didn't teach you how to start an e-commerce business in law school. No, no, not at all. And so, you know, I just, I just started researching online. I mean, that's one of the gifts of being an attorney is the ability to research. I just researched. I was on calls all the time, talking to different people. Um, I, I would, I, I mean, remember like with a merchant processor, I'm like, what's a merchant processor? What's the payment gateway? You know, what, what's a, the, the whole website and creating a website. And, you know, it was, it was really, really hard to be honest with you. It was really, really hard. I have never worked that hard in my life, but um, now that I know what I know, I mean, 
then, you know, so we did all this stuff. We, we built the business we, and I was just calling people, calling health food stores. Literally, I was cold calling people in the beginning. And, and it's just crazy to where we've grown to right now. And never in a million years, five years ago or six years ago, would I have ever thought that we'd be where we're at now. Um, but, you know, it's just, it was literally hard work and just getting it done. Um, so did, what was the first platform you used? I mean, how did you build that? Did you hire people to do all this? Yeah, we hired people to build, um, we did, let's see, our first platform was, um, a thing called a company called fortune three. And it was this e-commerce platform, huh. we used QuickBooks. I mean, we did, we did all kinds of different, you know, when we still use QuickBooks for our wholesale, mm -hmm. um, for our health food stores, but the e once we uh, switched over to Shopify, it was, you know, game changing for us. So we switched mm. over from to Shopify about three years ago, and that was game changing for us. But we started out with um, um, using some web developers, and um, a lot of them, you know, I'd say that I, nobody could ever make fun of lawyers about being shrewd because we met a few um, web developers along the way that um, weren't exactly. Um, up to par but then since then we've met some great people and i'd say one of the biggest things that really built our business was starting to go to masterminds and becoming a part of masterminds and just being involved in the industry um going to events and shows and networking with people you know ever i feel like in this in, in the industry that i'm in in the health and wellness space yeah. people are so giving and people just want to help each other out and um, we just met great people along the way and started joining masterminds and it was the best investment and they are investments. They are expensive, but they were the best investments we made along the way because that's how you learn to do, you know, what you're doing or listening to podcasts like yours. I mean, that I, I, I can't mm -hmm. believe I forgot that. Those things are so important to be, you know, you've got to just constantly educate yourself. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate that. And, and so was this, did you find that this environment maybe was a little bit different than the legal world? Oh, com yes, completely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone's added at each other. I mean, you go to the health and wellness shows and everyone's like in jeans and their branded t-shirt and everyone's super nice. And that, especially from coming from farm up where everybody's suit and tie. I mean, it's just a much more casual, but yet like loving. And, and, and of course there's exceptions to that rule, but most people have been amazing in this industry and, um, everybody, we're all in it together. We all, we have competitors within the industry, but our competitors really are big pharma. Our competitors are not each other. We all, I want people to be taking lots of different supplements. One of the things we've done in our, with our brand is we've tried to elevate the level of the standard of the quality of the products. Um, you know, I think supplements sometimes get a bad rap because people mm. don't know if they're researched and we have done research. We actually have a double blind human clinical trial on our product, which is absolutely unheard of in the supplement industry. So yeah. we have 13 double, we have 13 human clinical trials going on right now. It's, it's unheard of in this industry. So we are always trying to elevate, you know, our whole industry by, yeah. by doing these types of, these types of studies. Um, okay. So you build the website. Um, you've, you've got items in the cart. Uh, you know, on, on a platform, where do you get your first customers from? Yeah. Well, really our first customers were coming from health food stores. We were calling health food stores and that's where we really built our business was the whole mm. the B2B. So we were selling that and we were finding that the more educated the customer, you know, the store was, the more they would buy, you know, I mean, we had, we started out, but really we had two tiny health food stores that really started our business because they were like, this is amazing. This research is incredible. Um, and then when we went to the online space, we just started working with um, influencers, really, and people wow. who, who would speak at different events. Um, we would speak at different, um, I know one of the events that we went to was um, Weston A. Price, which is um, very, oh, yeah. yeah, great, great organization. You know, we had our microbiologists speak there, and then we talked to some influencers in that space, and then they would talk about us, and then it would lead to other, you know, then we would go speak at other shows, and we would meet other influencers, and then they would start talking about us, and it was, it was a very organic, we grew very, very organically. Um, we actually, even to this day, don't spend that much. We're very different than a lot of e-commerce brands because we don't, we haven't spent a ton of money on Facebook ads, and- right. Google ads and all that. Um, although, you know, we're starting to now, we just wanted to make sure we were doing it right. 
Um, and, and the thing is, the product works so well. And I know everyone says that, but it's like they re it really does. And so it just it sells itself. I mean, it, it's been incredible how it, it's, it's really sold itself for people, whether people have digestive issues or whether people have, you know, skin issues, whether people have, you know, anxiety, depression, all of those things are a sign of an imbalance in your gut. So yeah, um, yeah it's been pretty incredible. So, um, so Tina, I think a lot of people probably are pretty interested to learn, uh, how do you attract and how do you work with, how do you engage with influencers? Um, well, it's been, we have an, we have an affiliate manager that handles it and her, she outreaches to all of, you know, influencers through Instagram. And, um, and it's also just from going to sh different shows that are in our industry where mm. we'll, we'll find somebody that's maybe speaking and we check out their platform and we realize they have a nice following and then we connect with them. But it's really about relationship building. And, yeah. um, I feel like that's one of the things that's just so important is, um, I'm just... I, don't, I mean, not to pat myself on the back, but I just, I love people. I love building relationships with people. It's, it's not something I needed to research and learn about. It's just who I am. And so we've, we've just really built some beautiful relationships with influencers who now have really become close friends of ours. Um, mm -hmm. That's been helpful. But really, on a regular basis, we have a platform we use, which is called Refersion. And um, that's where they sign up for the link and they they. Um, you know, we, they, our influencer manager will reach out to them, send them the link, and we send them lots of information, our studies, we send mm. them collateral and things like that that they could talk about. We send them swipe copy and, and that kind of thing. So, um, did, I mean, typically, you know, if you've got an, uh, a product like this, um, you know, there's likely an affiliate relationship, uh, there's something like that. Like, how do you construct those deals? Yes, we do a um, commission. We do pretty much everything based on commission. We mm -hmm. did um, toy around with paying, paying, doing a flat payout to an influencer, and no. that never, ever paid out. I mean, no. the only way it's really worked for us is doing a commission uh, base type of a program. And then occasionally we'll give the influencer a discount too, in addition to that. So their um, link is tracked through their discount, their coupon code, as well as their link um, like on Refersion. So if, if a discount code is used, it'll automatically trigger that that person gets the commission for that sale. Mm. Wow. Well, so, um, I mean, in terms of like your, it, it was Savings Angel, you know, we ended up paying out over a million dollars in commissions. And I would say the vast majority of that money went to our top performers. <laughs> it's, you know, you got your, like your top 20 and then, then you kind of got everybody. Uh, yes. You know, you have your, you know, kind of low level performers that maybe refer one or two people, but you got these super performers um, that they get some piece of content that just ranks like ridiculous. You know, anybody who searches for probiotic, their articles coming up. Uh, and so I would imagine you like this system a whole lot better than just paying for Facebook ads. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I definitely do. I definitely like this system way better. Um, so like, how do you identify or uh, how do you build the relationship with those top, top influencers? Um, you know what? A lot of it has been just uh, meeting them and just being, like I said, going to the shows. That's really, yeah. those are the influencers that we have the best relationships are ones that we've actually met. Um, and really our affiliate manager is amazing. She is, she's just the same way, like loves to build relationships. She just like cares about these people so genuinely and yeah. um, just an amazing, she's awesome. So I just think that, I think people, influencers could see right through that. And it's not, it's, it's also a two way street. You know, how can we help you? You know, we have a, an influencer there. We're trying to help them or, you know, we ask them to do a, like, for example, a home at home workout routine with everybody being home. They, yeah. they, they are, um, they're doing that for us. And then that way we can promote them and we're trying to help them because we want people's messages. We want them to grow as influencers because they're doing so much good in the world and promoting this health and wellness and the natural space. And um, so that's really what I just think by meeting them in person and nurturing the relationship the same way you're nurturing relationships with your customers, you know, and yeah. I think that's the, the other piece of it for us really too, is like our customers are, um, are, they're just amazing human beings. I mean, our customers have been great. Our, our, 
team is awesome and we have incredible customer experience. I think because we have great team members. Our culture is so important to us as a brand. That's probably been the most exciting part of being an entrepreneur is mm -hmm. um, how we could really deeply impact our team and our employees' lives. And it's been, that has been really, really fun. Excellent. All right. Well, Tina Anderson, you are the CEO and co-founder of Just Thrive Health uh, and is on the web at justthrivehealth.com. So the name of the company is Just Thrive. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful website. Um, your products, your branding, uh, clearly uh, you've been doing, you've helped a lot of people uh, over the past six plus years. So thank you again for joining us. Yep. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate being here. Thank you.